Next week, Tuesday, marks the spring election, and there are important races all across the state. But only one race is statewide, the state superintendent position. And we're going to hear from both of those candidates, plus some of the referendums that could be on your ballot. And good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Local 5 News at 4. I'm Chris Schuler. News from your local election headquarters now. The race for school superintendent is the only statewide race for the spring election. Deborah Kerr and Jill Underley are the two candidates left after February's primary. Eric Richards spoke with both candidates today to learn what they would bring to the classroom if elected. The race for state superintendent is heating up as just two weeks remain until the spring primary when Wisconsinites will select the top educator. Our conversation with Jill Underley and Deb Kerr as both go head to head to fill the seat. We asked each candidate about the issues, starting with the voucher program. So the voucher system right now is very expensive, and as it expands, it's just going to take more money from our public schools. Right now, the voucher system takes $380 million a year. And when you look at that, um, public taxpayers, I don't think, realize that it's coming out of the money that is set aside for education. I fully support voucher schools, private uh, uh, and uh, charter schools, because our parents, have the liberty to choose how to best educate their kids based upon their circumstances. And so I want all parents to make those choices just like they have been doing through this pandemic. And I'm really worried that we are in a public school crisis right now. How would each candidate retain teachers and nurses? It's all related. Um, individually, when you think about it, um, these individuals are able to graduate from, from college. Um, they could probably find a better paying career in another field than education, and that's true for school nurses, too. Um, so when you look at it from that perspective, we need to respect our, our school staff more, and it's teachers as well as support staff. Our support staff are rather underpaid. Teachers and nurses are essential workers. We need to recruit the best kids and people into those professions, and then find out for some of our adults who maybe want to go into these fields, what were the barriers that prevented them? Both candidates are facing allegations of ethical violations. Underly is accused of sending emails through her work email to other superintendents connected to her campaign. She does not deny that allegation. I was trying to follow the law, basically, um, and it was an honest mistake having used my. You know, I should have used my personal email to do the outreach, but you know that's pretty normal when you're trying to ask somebody for their personal to contact them at work and right. but you know in retrospect I should have did that from my personal. Kerr is accused of utilizing her office as a superintendent to conduct personal business. Um, my situation is totally different because um, I uh, uh, was under the internet acceptable use policy of my district. I did not break any laws. It was an incidental contact that I had. I work many many hours as a superintendent. In fact most of my school community knows that I work hundreds of hours. I'm always at the school. So um, my, my situation was more incidental and a policy situation. I didn't break any laws. Both candidates say that they will make all districts throughout the state a priority. I'm also from a rural area. That rural areas feel that same way too, you know, with the contrast. But we are, we have so much in common. And I think that that's, you know, something we definitely need to communicate. There's never been a state superintendent ever to visit Land Lake County. So that broke my heart because we need to be responsive to our stakeholders. And I believe I want everyone to know who the state superintendent is. The winner will replace Carolyn Stanford Taylor, who has been superintendent since 2019. In Green Bay, Eric Richards, Local 5 News. And the spring election is next Tuesday, April 6th. Local 5 has your election headquarters covered on election night, both on TV and online. All right, residents in Horton.